such an average tabletop. Woohoo! Hey guys, welcome back to Not Your Average Tabletop. I'm Michaela, and today I'm unboxing the game Aquatica. Zach and I recently picked this game up at Barnes & Noble, and for whatever reason, they didn't have it plastic wrapped, so I'm just going to go ahead and open the box. On the front cover, we see a big sea um, creature, monster, and above it, it appears to be a pirate ship. So very reminiscent of the Pirates of the Caribbean. And as you look further down on the box, you see the king, maybe, of Atlantis, or, yep, a mermaid, I think he is. There's some other ones. Um, so you're just diving down. It looks like the very beautiful blue um, shades in here. All right, so first thing when I open the box is a little set of cards. And it says, these are replacement cards. Thanks for playing. So, I don't know what those are, but I'm uh, just going to keep those there as to not lose them. Then we have a game board with very beautiful blues from the cover. It doesn't look very busy at all. It's got some really neat, simple artwork um, throughout the board. So, it doesn't distract from what you're doing, but it is a very nice background. I have to say, this is beautifully done. I really like it. And the symbology looks nice. I like everything that's not busy. It just, there's so much already going on in my head when we play these games. If I can get something that's not extra, it's cool. We got a nice little rule book here. Pretty thick, but it is pretty small compared to the size of the box. Looks to have a lot of decent examples or just examples throughout. 31 pages. All right, then we have a double layered board, it looks like, and I think you'll be putting cards or something in here. So this top is kind of raised, and this bottom part is the lower half, little slots for something to go into. Again, very pretty artwork, different types of sea animals on here, and they look to be picking up and dropping off different um, shiny objects. There's a punch-out board with four circles that have different things on them. The symbology is pretty easy. I wouldn't say that a lot of it goes with like the theme of the game, but it's in the right color, and it's. I think it'll be easy to tell what it is. It was punched out very easily. And then we have two more of the, oh no, three more of those double layered boards. So I'm guessing these are player boards because they all are exactly the same. Same creature, same artwork, still very beautiful, very much um, keeping with the rest of the game. Then inside, we've got some cards here. Here we go. Alright. Okay, so these appear to be the cards that are going to go on this board somehow, maybe. Yes, very nice. Um, they've got beautiful, bright artwork, simple symbology on the cards that match the rest of the board back is a blue color. They're kind of just going in all these themes and then they have some bright reds and yellows kind of sticking out. Not sure what those are. Maybe flames? Maybe just how they look in the water? Not sure, but they have different symbols for every color. It's, it's really beautiful. A little busy, but I think if you just take a minute to look, you can tell kind of what the picture is about. So, um, kind of thin and they're not they're not like normal playing card style um, size. They're probably about that height, but not as wide, but I think they're decent quality. Not too thin, but these are gonna shuffle nicely, I think. And there's this, this deck of cards here. Okay, good. All right, more of the beautiful blue. It looks like the different decks have different shapes on the back. The previous one had circles on the back of the cards. The rest of them are going to have like a square diamond icon. These look to be different um, kings and queens of the underwater world. They have different names, different looks. Um, they're very beautifully done. I love the artwork on these. Very cool. And the color is very subtly still within the theme of the game. All right. There really aren't that many cards. They're split into three different decks here, but they're really, there's not many to 
the decks that I'm opening. So it's kind of interesting because all that's left is a bag of tokens. So it's not like solely card driven, but you do do some stuff. But since there isn't that many cards, it's making me think there's likely not going to be a ton to it. I like them better when these cards come in those little packets where they have like a little release so you just take it off and boom there you go okay here we go we've got different types of sea hmm, creatures people animals and they appear to be multiples of two maybe for some of these we've got the meg manta's leader a diplomatic crab a healer that looks very much like um the main character from the movie Atlantis. Angelfish, a sneaky eel. Artwork is very good on these two. I really like it. Alright, last deck of cards. Last time you have to watch me struggle with these plastic sealed cards. Alright, I did it. Alright, this one, these are more characters it looks like. Um, but they might have some kind of s different things. There's symbol symbols on the top right and some other symbology on the bottoms. Different types. Legionnaires, sea lords, but also multiples um, of the same. So, all very nice cards. These ones are more of the playing card size. Um, very good. Very nice. Lastly, we have a bag of baggies. So inside of this, we have purple, green, orange, yellow, and blue. The yellow and orange are almost exactly the same, which is kind of unfortunate, but these appear to be on stingrays or man of war type animals. On the top they have something and on the bottom it looks like they have bonuses. I, they're very nice plastic, very detailed. That is very cool. I think stingrays are awesome. Except for what they did to Steve Irwin. So uh, there's, very, there's a lot of purple and then there's very limited amounts of green, orange, yellow, and blue. And they all have different symbols on them. But again, um, something I really have liked as I reviewed this is everything is very cohesive in its art. Um, the color scheme is very on point. They have just very beautiful artwork and the pieces, these stingrays, manta rays are just, I like them. They're really cool. They're not cute, but I would say they're like very on point for this game. The last thing I want to mention is they have this beautiful insert tray for the cards and for these little tokens it looks like and then very cleverly they have this piece right here which is a um, stingray outline where I'm guessing you store all of the stingrays so very cool that they they took the time or they took the effort to do that little bit of detail in the box I love box organization and so um, for them to do that and then not only that to put in a little detail um, about their game I think is just wonderful so that is everything in Aquatica. Go ahead and let me know in the comments below if you played this game, if you like it, what are your favorite pieces about it. Thanks for watching. Keep on nibbling.